There are two political parties that are running for the next election. With all due respect to my friend Obi, I invited him to commission the school at Enya uh, when I was governor. He came. He spoke well. We gave him the honor to do that. He's a good man. But it's not a presidential material. We will agree with me that this is the first time we we'll say we have what you might call a three-horse race, maybe even four. Therefore, it's no longer business as usual. We cannot just rely on the tactics of the past. We must now come up with new tactics that suit the moment. There's no point lying to ourselves that we have won already. Even though that is why we are here, we want to win. This is exactly what we have been saying since. No different from what we have been saying. The dynamics have changed. The electoral patterns have changed. We used to vote about who is a Christian and who is a Muslim, who is a Northerner, who is a Southerner. Now we are discussing more concrete national issues. We are talking about the, 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 the evolution, the development, the, the, the next level of the country. So we are, we are not discussing whether your tribe, whether you are from a majority tribe or you are from a minority tribe or you are, for, you are from a majority religion. We are discussing competence, commitment, character, and capacity to deliver the results. Thank you, Lord Even though, but we, but we ignore the messenger and take the message. It's fine. Let's 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 stop there. Meanwhile, while Lord Benedio is making this very emphatic statement in the South South um, Kako Zona meeting of the PDP, Adam Sumo was somewhere spending ten minutes out of his eleven minutes to talk about it. Oh Lord, if I lie this afternoon, let me not see tomorrow. Or be said on a rise television. When they reveal, my friend, I am to sweat. Their people don't sweat. If I am sweating, it shows that my organs are working. But don't lose the message. They ask for me, and I put my hands as a Catholic. He's a Catholic too. And I hope he has said this to his Reverend Father during confession. But he has about 20 million dollars. But the paper that revealed it, what they call Padama Papers, he revealed that he kept his money in countries where people don't pay tax. <laughs> you know when a party does not have content? When a party does not have content? When there is no to talk about? When the, the, this has been the worst government ever? Worst government ever? You will see things like this. How can a, the former national chairman of a party, a senatorial candidate, a man that left office as governor to say he wants to deliver democracy to a senatorial district? No wahala. We keep quiet. Now you got on to come and do a campaign. It is Peter V that is your problem. And I keep asking, what does Bola Metinubu bring to the table? What has NPC done for this country? You are using statistics to deceive us that the other day, Professor Skyamu is tweeting that Ghana is also in recession or there is, our country is also in inflation. Shameful! Shameful! We will not get to all that. And meanwhile, the reason why APC is angry and crying like a baby is because the president, Muhammad Bari, has constantly shown that he's not going to support this candidate. If you think I'm lying, watch these two videos. These are the two videos of Shomole and then, of course, maybe I should allow you to see the Buhari's own face of how this man has shown to these people that Naha are not did this in our country. First, he did not support him to become the presidential candidate of the party. He supported somebody else. And even if the person would not have won, Tinubu was not even a second, a second choice, you can imagine. And now since he has won, he has only attended one rally. Even in the rally in his own Senate, in his own region, Buhari did not attend. He fixed another international engagement. Just to prove, watch the video and share this video. Let it be clear, I am not a Buhari fan. I am not saying this because Buhari, there is nothing he has done. But to clear that APC has, has failed as a party, there is so much and battledness in that party. We're just deceiving ourselves to so think that they see solution. Those of you still thinking, the truth of the matter is that Tinubu and APC will be humbled during the elections. The lessons will be learned. Strong lessons. And I'll never to take the Nigerian people for granted. You think you think you think it was going to be police as usual. So you were arranging Tinubu to come and contest the article. Did you know that God had a better plan for this country? What did you do and share this with you? Let's not deceive ourselves. 
uh, President Buhari has not been following uh, Bola Tinubu around, President, and this is his zone. President Buhari is in uh, faraway Washington, D.C. Yes, and that's a, uh, that's a political calculation, uh, uh, Christian. We haven't seen President Buhari moving around with Bola Tinubu like uh, former President Lushegun Obasanjo did, did with, with Yara Adua yeah. in 2007. And people are beginning to ask questions and wonder, why did the presidency fix this uh, trip almost at the same time that the APC is fixing this rally. Isn't it a clear understanding that is a strategy by the presidential handlers to make are it you, look like are, President Bari you, has a genuine reason to be away from that Northwest Zona but, rally? But Sumner, have you been looking at the president's uh, body language in recent times and his interviews that look, let Nigerians vote the best candidate, their choice. And that's why he says he wants to leave a legacy of a free, fair, and just election. And that is unsettling a lot of APC leaders. A lot of them are not sure where exactly President Buhari is tilting to. But we could actually see Abdullah Adamo today at that place calling uh, Bola Tinubu the president in waiting, introducing him as the president. Uh, uh, that as a person that will take over from President Muhammadu Buhari, still insisting that as far as they are concerned, Bola Tinubu is going to be the successor of President Muhammadu Buhari. Yes, we've heard Buhari saying all of this and it's causing lots of concerns, but I mean, Tinubu himself has not, you know, shown any sign that, uh, you know, he's, he's been wary. affected. He's not wary Yes, he's all. going ahead with his campaign. We haven't seen Buhari vi visiting several states with him, but nonetheless, he's going ahead. Yesterday, we saw him in, in Brindanguari in uh, Kaduna State, where Rufai took him to the that epicenter zone. of uh, terrorism yes, and banditry. Yeah, banditry, and of course, he was even given a traditional title position. I mean, very fantastic out in saying the right words, which is that if he's elected president, the issues of insecurity will be tackled and Nigerians wouldn't need to be running from one place to the other. Uh, is he saying that the issues of insecurity have not been tackled by the uh, uh, incumbent APC administration? Well, these are the issues because sometimes when they, they communicate from that uh, 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 perspective. Uh, yeah, perspective, you want to wonder if they are not... Uh, you know, the marketing, the, the party which is already in power. I mean, the president who is already seated. But well, these are politics and it's left for us to see whether they are also not s silently sending a, a, a coded message to President Buhari through those kind of utterances at times. Two political parties that are running for the next election come February 25, 2023. It is APC as represented by Bola Metinubu and people, the civic people as represented by Atiku Abubaka and Peter Obi. Nigeria conditions in terms of job creation cannot be achieved through warehouse economy. You know what I call warehouse economy? You go to China. You tell them to produce substandard goods. You import them from China. You put them in a department store or supermarket called Next. Next. Who owns Next? Peter Obi. Now, when you import goods from China, you import from Taiwan, you import from India, you import from Bangladesh. What are you doing to Nigeria jobs? You are killing them. Peter will be make money by exporting Nigeria jobs abroad and importing unemployment into Nigeria. A man who never set up a tomato factory, never set up where you can even produce watermelon, is about importing and exporting. Who are the people manipulating Nigeria for in the change market? Is it not the porters? Who is the greatest supporter in Nigeria?